Hello, everyone. It's Taboo Topics by Fashion First Aid. I'm your host, Honest Kim, here live with Annie, the psychic sidekick. Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday. No, Tuesday. Tuesday yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> well, thank you so much for tuning in. We are talking today about bra sizing and bra fitting. Super exciting. Not that taboo, but a little bit. Whenever you talk about boobs, men get weird. <laughs> what? I think they just revert back to their nursery days when they used to be sucking on a booby. I don't know. It's men, boobs. I don't know. This is this was my weird thought of the day today. You know, we as women wear these devices for support and lift, you know, for our sort of pair of saggy bits. But men don't seem to do anything for their pair of saggy bits. They just let them hang. Yep, sometimes they look good, sometimes they don't. My favorite is when guys have the same boob size as me. I wasn't really talking about guys' boobs, but um, that's they, they just don't seem to wear support for their parts that could set. I just think that's strange. We want to support ours, but they just, they're fine letting theirs just hang in the wind. Mm -hmm. Or having very erect nipples. Again, not not talking about man boobs. Anyway, um, <laughs> so let's talk about bra sizing. I am so excited this week. We launched our Kickstarter campaign for Fites, the custom build bra, and we, in 48 hours, are over halfway to our goal. Woohoo! good work, yay. I think it just goes to show that people are ready for a custom bra. I mean, I've been working on this for three years, and it's blown my mind. I mean, you've had this happen, right, Psychic? You've gone into Victoria's Secret. They measure you for one thing, or they say, oh, yeah, but we don't really have that size, so this is the bra we'll put you in. Yeah, so when I went to Victoria's Secret, I always, like, the 34B is, like, my standard go-to bra. And then they measure me, and they're like, no, you're a 32C. And I'm like, Really? And so then I put it on, but the C cup is like ginormous. And I'm like, um, I'm not supposed to have air or space between my boob and the cup. And they're like, no, no, it's fine. You're fine. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be like So then I buy two bras at 55 bucks each and that don't fit. And at the end of the day, I'm like, thanks guys for your great advice. It just wasted me money. Well, I mean, they use the same cup in a 34B as they do in the 32C. So in theory, the cup should be the same, but how it fits you on your body makes all the difference. Right? Yeah, no, because there's a huge gap between my boob and the, and the cup. Well, your body is really different. You have a really sort of V-shaped sloping body. You're not straight you know, up and down like this. So if yeah. you measure, the two measurements they take are pretty much as under your boobs, right around your rib cage, and then, you know, over your boobs, and they, to determine the volume. But, you know, your volume could be, you could have really heavy boobs, right? So they're, the volume's lower, or your boobs get set really high, or you could have one different size than the other. So I think the whole measuring system, they're missing a lot of components. The biggest one I think they're missing is, where do your breasts sit on your body? Are they spaced apart? Are they closer together? Because that's going to put the cup in the right space on your body, and there's not really an adjustment for that. No, that's really annoying because either like it's really high up, and then you're like making the strap super short, or the band's actually not supporting because like the band is what's supposed to support you. Yeah, you're supposed to get your support from the band, but a lot of people don't even like their band tight. It bothers them, which I get, right? It's like a boa constrictor around your rib cage, but you know to get the support you need you have that's where it has to come from it shouldn't come from your shoulders because then that's putting a lot of pressure on your shoulders and back and then can cause um, problems down the road yeah so I'm so 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 excited that we're able to finally measure people or get people measured and help them measure themselves with all you know these five different measurements to determine what size they should be wearing, and let them put together the bra that fits them the best. So what? I can't believe no one's done this. So what measurement? Uh, what are the measurements that you have to do? What are the five measurements? 
Okay, so the first one is taking the measurement above your, your breasts, so under your armpits pretty much, around, and then below your breasts, and around your rib cage. Uh, and then we do an average of that to see are you slopey, are you, you know, are you v like you, are you pretty much straight, to figure out what size band you need across the back. So we take those two measurements, and then we take the measurements from each boob, from kind of the bottom of your boob to your nipple, to figure out the volume of each breast, and then we figure out how far apart your nipples are, um, or where you want your, where it's comfortable for your nipples to be, and we figure out the spacing between your breasts. And then we put them all in our formula, in our little calculator, that is almost, almost ready for public viewing, and it spits out some, some fun, fun little computations, like you are a grapefruit extra small, or a blueberry medium, or something like that. And it also tells you what spacer you need, if any. Nice, so um, when is this bra actually available? Ooh, it comes out on, uh, for the pre-orders, for the people that are support our Kickstarter campaign, they start shipping theirs on June 15th, and uh, we, the, for the general public, July 17th. And then, um, and then if you're interested in Kickstarter, you can just go to kickstarter.com and then put in bra, and it's one of the top three things when you put in bra. Oh, great. Yeah. Or you can order from our site um, at the end of the Kickstarter campaign. And you can also get a free measure by mail. That'll start mailing on May 20th. It's a fun little measuring tape that uh, makes those five measurements really easy. So... Uh, wedding season's coming up. It's my favorite season of the year. And um, you always have interesting dresses, or at least I do, that have like special cutouts and or create situations where you can't wear a bra. And what are some solutions that you have, Kim, that you can help our friends that need support for the girls but don't want their bra being shown? So like for well, example, I, mean, I have that yellow dress that's backless but then it's completely covered in the front, and so I just want, like, support for my boobs. So what's oh. a suggestion? Well, I mean, depending on how much – most everyone, I think, the older you get, you want lift. So for that type of thing, I love this product called the Perk Up. It's sort of tape that sticks on top of your breasts, and you lift up and just tape it higher. So that's a great product for lift. <laughs> um, for And then, of course, use some nipple covers to cover – and for my discretion. Um, with this new bra, I'm really excited. We're going to have this other uh, option where you can wear the bra, um, but it has, you put these stickers on your side. They're like bra extenders. They just stick to you with silicone, and then you can just hook your bra basically onto your skin, I mean, onto these stickers. So then you can have a bra that um, you get the support from the front, uh, which is kind of exciting. Uh, so there, there's two options. I really just don't like those stick-on silicone cups. I feel like they just don't give you any lift. No, they're nice because they give you that that feeling of coverage, but it doesn't give you the lift at all. No, they do give you cleavage. So if that's what if that's your game, that's I think pretty much all they do. But um, I don't really want cleavage at my navel. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So that's exciting. So that's all our, our bra fitting discussion. Um, I don't know. Does anyone have any comments? Want to talk about, you know, being creeped out by in the bra fitting rooms, not understanding the measurements, being felt up by a measuring tape? I don't know. <laughs> no comments? Okay, great. Weird. Uh, so let's move on to our... What do we have this week, Annie? Douche we have our douche of the week. week. Our douche of the week, sponsored by Douche Bomb. Do you have any nominations? Um, I don't know. What do you like? I don't have any nominations. I'm sure there is, are there's somebody at um, Coachella this weekend that was probably a douchebag. There's the annual music festival that's out in Indio, California. A lot of fun stuff going on there. I'm sure, there's something going on out there that's not cool. 
Um, I don't know. I want. I, I feel okay. So I've been in New York, and everything has gone really well this week. Everyone has been so nice. Um, all of the people I've come in contact with have been pleasant. The Uber drivers were super fun and nice. Um, I feel like there's really limited douchiness out there this week. So maybe we shouldn't nominate anyone. I yeah, I think to be honest, I think this should be um, a douche free week. All right. You know what we could we could give the award to um, cuz it is tax tax day tomorrow. Ooh. We could give it to the IRS. Yes. For no reason other than um, they're they're generally unpleasant to deal with. Yeah, and they always take money. Well, I don't have a problem paying taxes. I mean, we get services and we get a lot of benefit. But um, I maybe I just think they could be a little bit nicer and wear less cologne. Gotcha. <laughs> God, that was the worst nomination ever. Maybe let's just do let's just do a no award this week because yeah, everyone's no so lonely. No yeah, award. Can I take back that whole comment about the IRS? Now I feel bad and I know, dumb. They're just doing their job. Although I do vote for flat tax. I know. Flat tax would be really cool. Well, it would be. It would be a lot. Make my life a lot easier. That's for sure. But then. Next um, time all right. Mm, yeah. And people would pay a disproportionate share of some people. Whatever. So let's talk. Let's go on to my favorite part of the show, the Psychic Sidekicks predictions. All right. I am sick of people going in my head and taking up time and space over guys that aren't into you. Have you ever seen that movie, He's Just Not That Into You? If he doesn't call you back, he's not that into you. If he doesn't want to go home with you, he's not that into you. If he hasn't proposed, he's not that into you. If he'd rather hang out with his guy friends, he's not that into you. So girls, listen up. If you're overanalyzing something, you know what? A lightning bulb should go off in your head and you should be like, oh my gosh, he's not that into me. Or maybe I'm not that into him. There is a good guy out there for you. You just need to be open to it and ditch the loser you're with now. That's my advice this week. Ooh, okay. I like your your sort of universal advice prediction. Yeah. Um, anything well, else? Hike. Be creative. Go for a hike this week, please. And if you're in New York City, um, just go walk about 20 blocks. <laughs> Okay, I will. I actually have to be somewhere about 20 blocks from here in uh, 40 minutes. So <laughs> I will go take oh, a walk. Give, uh, do something nice today. I will. Letting I'm going to perpetrate this nice one. Buy someone their drink or pay for someone's toll or letting someone go ahead of you. Do something nice today. I like it. I like it. And well, the lucky numbers are 41, 86, 3, 7, 1, and 11. Aha. Okay. Thank you, Psychic Sidekick. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to what turned out to be another boring podcast. <laughs> Next week, though, it is sure to be way more exciting. Our special guest, Cassandra Kelly, will be back. Uh, and our topic is the onesie and the toilet, natural born enemies. It's how to deal with your onesie, jumpsuit, whatever you have, and using a toilet while wearing one. It's a hard task. It's hard to do. Yep. Wait, but Cassandra Kelly, the, about it last night. the queen of the onesie or the jumpsuit, has the system down, will be demonstrating for us, and will provide some a lot more comedy than we have provided the past two podcasts. <laughs> Our very boring podcasts. No, they're normally fun. The last two, we've just been in a boring rut. Yeah. Gotta get foster topics like onesies. Yeah, onesies and toilets, fun topic. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Honest Kim, here with Annie the Psychic Sidekick, um, Taboo Topics by Fashion First Aid. See you next Tuesday. <laughs>